If you're having trouble coming up with art styles to try in your mid journey prompts, here are seven unique art keywords to use. Style number one, Chihuly. Dale Chihuly is a glass artist famous for stretching limits with his huge blown glass statues. Displayed in exhibitions all over the world, his artworks are famous for their organic shapes and colorful silhouettes. Use the phrase glass artwork in the style of Dale Chihuly in your prompts, along with your desired subject matter, to generate images with his unique glass art style. Style number two, double exposure. Double exposure is a style of photography that overlays two separate photos onto a single image to generate creative results. Combining multiple photographs creates a surreal feeling and conveys a deeper meaning than each photograph could on its own. In my experiments, Midjourney version 4 separates the distinct photographs more sharply, while version 5 tends to blend them together more, so pick the style you like better. Style number 3, Paper Quilling. Paper quilling, also known as paper filigree, is an arts and crafts style that has been popular since the 15th century and recently regained its popularity. Made with just strips of paper and glue, the final paper craft pieces feature intricate and colorful designs that are perfect for landscapes and animals, or anything else you want to make. Style number 4, Dan Qing. Dan Qing is a Chinese art style traditionally done with ink brushes on silk or Chinese paper. The artworks are colorful and vibrant, and usually depict natural scenery and everyday life. Combine this traditional style with modern subjects to get dynamic images. Style number 5, Trash Polka. Trash Polka is a tattoo style created in Germany, which combines realistic images with bold graphics and chaotic patterns. Trash Polka is always done in black and red, and using this keyword in your prompts will result in edgy images with splatters of black and red ink. The combination of realistic images with geometric and abstract shapes results in a distinctive look. Style number 6, Kazuki Takamatsu. Takamatsu's art uses a unique 3D mapping technique developed by him to create ghostly translucent black and white figures. Inspired by Japanese subcultures and manga, his haunting paintings have gained a cult following online. Style number 7, Alina Inami. A concept illustrator from Ukraine, Einami paints digital landscapes with dark silhouettes of people. Einami's artworks tend to use purple, blue, and orange color hues. Perfect for wallpapers and backgrounds, try using the phrase by Elena Einami to generate some jaw-dropping landscapes. Let me know which art style you like the best, and make sure to subscribe for future tips.